What's going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with another video. Welcome to episode 5 of the Junk Silver series. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, today I want to talk to you about the Roosevelt Dimes. So, if you are from America, I am sure you are very familiar with Roosevelt Dimes. And you're familiar with the fact that, that we still use Roosevelt Dimes in today's currency. They are not made out of silver, but they are still holding the same exact design they've held for quite, quite, quite a long time. And so... As you can see here, I've got my tube of rosies here. This is basically the entirety of my rosy stack. This has got to be probably my least favorite, 90% constitutional coinage. Um, I just, it's not really a favorite design of mine. Um, the Roosevelt, I mean, nothing against FDR, but uh, the Roosevelt design is just kind of okay. Um, a dime at the end of the day is just a dime, unless it's silver. But if you were thinking about picking these up and adding them to your stack, I think they are a great addition to the stack. I think any true stacker should have at least a tube, and that's why I do have one, of rosy dimes in their stack, just to kind of add variety. And because they are so liquid, you will get spot out of these very easily and they're very easily to break up a bolt. this is pure shtf coinage right here you know if the end of the world comes you'll be able to trade these these are very easy to come by they're very low denomination they're very low in their silver content this is a great way to stack what i would consider fractional silver most fractional silver is going to run you a premium that is very unreasonable. If you get a fractional round, a f even a fractional Libertad or whatever, you're going to run a premium that is just unnecessary and unneeded. It's, it's a collectability thing, especially with the Libertads, but at the end of the day, and a novelty thing as far as the rounds and things like that. But at the end of the day, if you are looking for pieces that you can easily break up, and easily exchange small denomination, rosy dimes are your best bet for your stack. They are just small, they're just easy to move, they're easy to accumulate as well because of their low price. One of these is like a dollar forty, one little silver dime. And it seems like a very little silver piece, but it's silver at the end of the day, and it goes in the stack. And I think they're a great thing to have. I think they are extremely recognizable. And I think that as far as their wear and tear, most of the rosies you're going to get are not going to be too worn down. Like some of the other older, older, older dimes, rosies are going to have your least wear, so they're going to have your highest silver content per piece. So people are going to want them more if there ever comes a time where silver becomes extremely valuable or the world is changing the way it handles business. This will be a good thing to have, Roosevelt Dimes, because they're the most recognizable dime. They've been around really the longest if you include the non-silver versions, and they have the least amount of wear. So if you were thinking about getting into Roosevelt Dimes, you can't go wrong with them. Low premium, good value overall with the wear and tear and the recognizability, and the ability to stack fractional silver without any added premium. So yeah, guys, kind of shorter video. Um, just wanted to talk about Roosevelt Dimes and just kind of hit on it a little bit. So yeah, guys, until next time, we'll see ya. <laughs> 